Hello everybody, welcome back to Bellatro. If you are watching this video and it is currently the period of late September, early October 2023, then the Bellatro demo is available right now. It will be linked in the description along with the Steam page, a playlist for this current de Bellatro demo playlist and a link to the Bellatro Discord where you can give feedback, report bugs, discuss the game, show off your broken builds, all of that good stuff. But for right now, I get to play the game. I'm incredibly excited. Thank you ever so much to Local Thunk and Playstack for sending me a code to play the game 24 hours early so that I can get this video to you as soon as the game has gone up live. So go get that download going and then come back and see what we're working with. Play the demo. New run, continue and daily run. White chip, base, base difficulty. So that is our stake. And then we have the decks, red, yellow, and abandoned and then everything else is locked in the demo version we can play a seeded run and enter the seed or we can just play so we're going to go for a new run white chip base difficulty red deck play oh i'm so excited right what are we working with five joker slots two consumable slots our deck of 52 cards Red deck, plus one discard every round. We have four aces, four kings, four queens, etc. That is nice and clear. Aces, face cards, numbered cards, spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs. No vouchers. We haven't played any poker hands yet. And these are the blinds that we are about to work with. We could skip the blinds, but I'm not going to skip them this early. Let's get going. Now I have to remember how to play the game. I think immediately... I'm going to fish for a club flush. We have four hands to play with three discards between and we need to score 300 chips. So if you don't know Bellatro, we are trying to make poker hands. As we play hands like this flush, this flush will correlate to a number of points in this chart. So a flush is worth 40 chips base times three is 120. However, each card that we play is worth additional chips. So this is 10 chips, 10 chips, 10 chips, nine chips and eight chips for their respective values. If I play this now, it counts it as a flush, counts up the score. We have 261 chips. We need to get 300 to earn $3 and go to the next bit of the game. So what if instead of fishing for hearts, if we just play this pair of fours, only the fours that are part of the pair get scored and that's fine. We can also just play four cards rather than five cards. This is still two pair, totally valid. And we get one extra dollar because we have one extra hand remaining. And this says anti one of five question mark. Used to be one of 10 in the original game, so I'm not sure how that's changed. Very cruel of the game to just present me with one of the best jokers in the game immediately that i cannot afford i have eight dollars this is 10. scary face face cards give 20 chips plus when played i will buy that because we don't have very much other money but we have four more dollars so why not give me an arcana pack so we have the lovers enhances one selected card into a wild card wild cards can be used as any suit one in five chance for a foil, holographic, or polychrome effect to be added to a random joker, or select two cards to get plus three malt on them. I'm gonna take these two sevens and add plus three malt onto those. Now, I can't afford anything else, so we are gonna go to our next round here. Big blind, 450 chips to earn $4. Now, I'm more way more invested in playing my face cards for more chips but right now we also have a club flush oh interesting over here on the left now it tells me what my anticipated multiplier is from the base of the hand that i'm playing so i'm playing a five card flush it knows it's going to give me 40 times three that is a nice quality of life improvement and then as the king is scored I get 20 extra chips from the scary face and a plus three malt from my seven that has the additional multiplier on it. I get my four dollars, three extra from this and away we go. Ride the bus, a classic card in the earlier versions of the game. Now plus one malt per consecutive hand played without a scoring face card. 
Well, right now I'm very invested in playing my face cards, so I'm not gonna take Ride the Bus right now, but a half joker plus 15 malt if the played hand contains three or fewer cards. I will take that, can't afford anything else. Then we're gonna go on to the head. All heart cards are debuffed. So the heart cards aren't worth any extra chips to us. I can still play a high card, but this is not worth 10 extra chips to me. So what I think I'm going to do is just play 8 high and get rid of the rest of these. Ah, I get nothing from that. Sure thing. Right, I want one more club. Let's play this pair of twos. And then we get a 15 multiplier on that. I did not draw a club. That's a bad time. Alright, time to start spending some of my discards. Alright, well, how about instead I just play a pair of jacks because that will get an extra multiplier. Easy stuff. I totally forgot that the jacks get the scary face as well. I was so focused on the kings. Oh, new stuff! New stuff. Sneak peek. Locked. Cards from Jimbo's personal collection available in the full version of Balatro. Okay, well, I know what that is, but we will leave it be. What is this? When blind is chosen, gain plus three hands and lose all discards. Not discovered. If scoring hand contains an ace and a straight, spawns a tarot planet card, must have room. When blind is chosen, gain three hands. All right, I'm going to do this. This is super interesting to me as well, but we can't do it all immediately. And right now, this a straight needs to be five cards. This is not synergizing with that, but this might. So into our next round, we will select the small blind. I get seven hands, zero discards. Well, immediately, we can play a spade flush. That's 276 points. Now, I'm going to discard all of this and look for another king or queen so I can play three of a kind kings or queens with the half joker. I can't discard this because I have zero discards, but I can play ace high. That's fine. That is allowed. And then I can play a pair of threes. Then I can play a pair of fives. Where are all of the other face cards? Okay. I want to play just a pair of queens and then hope to high water, hell or high water, that I get a king back. Okay. That was enough points. I was worried there for a second. Face cards have a 1 in 2 chance to give $2 when played. Well, we're trying to play face cards for Scary Face anyway, so maybe we can earn some extra money. Then we'll go into our big blind. 1,200 chips needed. I'm going to start immediately with a pair of 8s. Then a pair of 5s. I'm going to keep this 7. Then let's do a pair of queens. We get four extra dollars. And we get four extra dollars back from this. And we've gained one interest, five dollars max, one dollar per five, one interest per five dollars, five dollars max. So now we have sixteen dollars to spend. Level up full house, plus two malt and plus 20 chips. So if I buy this, goes into our pool of consumable cards. I'll buy a tarot card as well. And then if we look at our chart here, currently all of our hands are level one. The full house is 40 times four. However, if I redeem this earth card, we can now see that it's 60 times six for a full house. So all the more power to us to play that. A reroll costs five. I have eight. 
Let's not do that. Let's take a Jumbo Celestial pack instead. A choice of four cards. Level up a four of a kind. Straight flush, high card, or two pair. I'm going to do high card because we're invested in playing fewer than five cards here. Two dollars left, can't afford anything. Must play five cards. Well, I should have looked at that sooner. That information was available to me. So if we want to score, we must play five cards. So here's a pair of fours. Right, what I would like to do is get a full house. Now, I can play this. It just won't be valid for the psychic. So I will lose the hand. Not allowed. It's rejected, but I still get new cards back, which has worked out wonderfully for me. Because now what I can do is I can play my Empress to enhance these two kings. And then I can play this full house, kings full of queens, with two extra multipliers and a hundred extra chips, because this is five face cards. Plus two and a half thousand points. Easy game. $16. What is this? If the first hand of round one... Wait. If first hand of round has only one card, add a copy back into your hand. Plus two malt for each joker card. And this is locked. This is a sneak preview. Okay, I'm gonna... We can afford both of these, so I'm gonna buy this. That is my fifth of five jokers. I'm going to get rid of business card and buy whatever this is. DNA. If first hand of round has only one card, add a copy back into your hand. How am I going to use that? The water, start with zero discards. We have zero discards anyway. We get three additional hands, so that's a really nice synergy for us. So, if I just play this high card, first hand of round has only one card, add a copy back into your hand. So I can play ace high, and I get an ace of clubs back. And I could just keep doing that, technically. I still have zero discards. Well, I'm going to play some other hands here. The other thing I haven't tested yet. So currently, or pre previously, when you played a hand, it decided the order for you. So it would go 998. But now, I believe, I can do something like this, where I'm now going to play 355 five, and the 3 will be on the left. It is. Now that might seem inconsequential, but what that means is if I was playing a hand like this, but I wanted this multiplier to be on the right, I could play it in that fashion, which is very interesting. For right now, I'm going to play three of a kind aces. We are over our chip point quota. Odd Todd plus 20 chips for each odd ranked playing card. Or Mystic Summit, plus 15 malt when zero discards remaining. We never have discards, so this is incredible for us. Honestly, this is super interesting, but I don't see its value for us right now. So I'm going to sell this, buy this. 15 malt when zero discards remain. When big blind is chosen, gain three hands and lose all discards. So that's just winning synergy to my mind. Another tarot. Convert up to three selected cards into hearts. The Fool spawns the last tarot or planet card used during the run excludes the Fool, currently the Empress. Or Temperance gives the total sell value of your current jokers, currently $11. I will take another Empress card. That puts an Empress up here for me. And then we'll go into the next round. $16. 
so we cannot currently make a straight. We we can. 87654. That's just me not being able to read. Alright, I will do this. 1600 points. How about just a pair of a pair of tens? And then if we had the nine of spades, we'd be laughing, but we don't, but that's fine. So far, these scores not a problem with a good selection. Droll Joker, plus 10 malt. If played hand contains a flush, Rose Michael, I always pronounce that wrong apparently, plus 10 malt, 1 in 10 chance this card is destroyed every round. I don't think we need either of those. Let's take some tarots and stuff. Enhance one selected card into stone, plus 50 chips, no rank or suit. Spawns up to two random tarot cards. Converts up to three cards into clubs. Double money, maximum of $20. All right, I'm going to take these two nines and enhance them with the Empress. And then take up to two free random tarots. I have a Sun card, converts three cards into hearts. And a Chariot card, enhances one selected card into steel. I'll also take a Jumbo Spectral Pack. <gasps> These are new. New Spectral Pack just dropped. What do we have? Not Discovered. Destroys five random cards in hand. Gain $20. I don't want my nice shiny kings to be destroyed, thanks. Converts all cards in hand into a single random suit. Destroy one random card in your hand. Add three random face cards to your hand. That sounds great. Familiar. Alright, we lost a king. We lost an enhanced king. But we now have... An extra ace. An extra king and an extra queen. I don't know if it's supposed to give you an ace. It said face cards. Not sure, but I'll take it. Start with zero discards, not my problem. Uh, convert cards to hearts or convert a card into a steel card. Well, let's make this three into a steel card. So while this card stays in hand, plus five molt. So if I play these queens, that's worth an extra five molt to me. Then let's play just king high. And we'll play King High again. We're cruising. Not discovered. Gains 0.1 malt per planet card used. Currently one malt. I mean, I really want it. That's for sure. What would I get rid of? is a great question. I'm going to need money to get this going as well. Is it time to let Half Joker go? Constellation gains 0.1 malt per planet card used. Currently, one malt. So, give me a Celestial Pack, because that will give me a planet card. Level up Flush, Straight, or Four of a Kind. Let me level up Flush. So this is now a 1.1 multiplier to our entire score, which is exciting. Do we have a particular favorite flush, just not hearts? Well, this makes hearts, so that's not super helpful. Skip this blind gives a free Mega Celestial pack. That free Mega Celestial pack will contribute to our constellation. Three of a kind, straight, full house, four of a kind, or high card. Give me full house. Let's 
Let's get some super OP full houses going. Of course, I need to find the cards to make those first. That's pretty close. We still want face cards in our full houses. There we go. So I could play this hand, but I'm just going to put this king over here because I want that to go last. Not for anything specific right now, but just kind of out of best practice. Lovely. There's DMA again. Neptune. I'm going to buy and use this immediately. Because that increases my constellation. And I'll take another celestial pack. Four of a kind, three of a kind, flush, and two pair. Give me more in flushes. What boss are we fighting? One in seven cards are drawn face down. It's going to make this trickier. But we have... Four clubs currently, two of them already enhanced. This is an unknown hand that we're playing because of the face down cards. Still just looking for a face up club to be drawn. Lovely. So we're playing a flush 80 times 7 plus all the bonuses. I would like. The malts on the right hand side. Right. We could look for a spade or we could look towards the full house. I'm going to err towards the full house. It's worth more to me, I think. Super. Right, we are now in anti five over five question mark. Uh, grabber permanently gain plus one hand per round is very good, but we can't afford it. Four fingers, all flushes and straights can be made with four cards is a very powerful joker. Every playing card counts in scoring. That's super interesting, because if you've seen when we play a pair, only, like, the two fours will score, and the other three cards won't. But right now, I think I have to just go with trying to get more Celestial cards. Flush, four of a kind, full house. Let's go full house. And so it's not every different planet card, it's just every single planet card, which is very strong. I could spend four dollars right now, but I'm going to hold off. All face cards are debuffed. I'm sure that won't be... Oh, that's going to be a big problem. <laughs> After I think about it for more than one second. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 for a straight. So how are we going to get enough points without playing... any of our face cards. Well, right now, I would just like a full house, please. I will do two pair jacks and fives and then be really mad when I draw a jack in a moment. Oh, no. Four of a kind kings. What's four of a kind worth to us? 60 times five. A full house is worth 100 times 10. So, amusingly, I would rather play a full house here than four of a kind. It's just, do I think I can be that choosy about trying to find one? Well, if I don't find one now, we're going to have to play four of a kind to finish. We do find one. Better card on the right, just out of a force of habit.
So that's 25,000 points. To-do list. Gain $4 if poker card is a high card. If poker hand is a high card. Poker hand changes on every payout. To do, jog, oil change, karate, eat candy, and ruminate. Or Joker. And this is just our basic Joker plus four multiplier. No room for you here, buddy. Um, give me another celestial pack. I'm gonna need it. Flush, pair, straight flush. I'll take flush up to level four. Yeah, all face cards are debuffed is going to be a problem. If I skip this, I get a free Mega Celestial pack. Straights, two pairs, flushes, three of a kind, high card. Give me flushes up to level five. And then the plant, all face cards are debuffed. All right, we have... Three diamonds, three clubs. The clubs look better for me because we have two enhanced clubs. Well, this also looks pretty good if I was trying to fish for a full house. So let's keep the extra seven. These hands are not scoring high. These cards are no good to me. Did I play off one of my clubs? I feel like I played off one of my clubs and I'm mad about it. Okay. That is a very strong full house. You know what I could do though? So I've been holding this sun card, converts three cards selected to hearts. These two are already hearts. I can make these three into hearts. And then we have a flush house, 100 times 10. Now, my full house was 100 times 10. So this is the same, <laughs> this is the same, but flush house, secret hand, That is not even half the score I need, and I have three hands remaining. This is going to be a problem. All right, play this and look for some clubs. I don't think I'll find them. All right, what do we have? We have four clubs. I'd almost rather play nine high for the plus three malt. If I do this, it's still 10 high. Yeah. And we do not get a club. Oh, this is still a flush though. Okay, that's not so bad. It's not gonna be 13,000 points worth of flush, but it's still a flush. So we are caught short at 24,000 points on ante number five. Time for us to shuffle off and try again. Oh, hello. Sneaky previews. Oh my God, I want that combo. All right, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Sign up for the, ne for the next demo, playbellatro.com. Well, I'm gonna play this demo a lot first. I hope you will enjoy the demo for yourself. I hope you come and join me on the rest of my journey. We've unlocked a whole bunch of new stuff. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.